Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will make the shamrock table runner using the fillet crochet technique. And this is an easy way to uh, crochet the images. Uh, fillet means net or mesh in French. And uh, with just uh, chains and double crochet stitches, we can create the grid like pattern and um, we will make this table runner in two steps first we'll crochet the leaves with fillet crochet technique and then using the contrast color thread we'll add two rounds of edge and my table runner here measures About eight inches wide and seventeen and a half inches long. I'm using two colors of crochet thread size ten. My main color is Golo Green. This one ball has uh, two hundred fifty yards in it, and for the edge, I'm using the Golo white. This one has some parts here dark green, light blue, so that's gonna make an interesting border. And my crochet hook is 1.75 millimeters. And here is my shamrock chart. It has 28 blocks, and for two leaves, I have 48 rows and uh, this one is asymmetrical pattern and that means it's important to keep track of the direction how we read the chart so you see the numbers on first row here start from right going all the way to left so then starting row two we read the chart from left to right and so on on each odd numbered row three five seven we read from right to left each even numbered row two four six we read from left to right And fillet crochet consists of two types of blocks or squares that make up the crit pattern. The white blocks or squares here are called open blocks. They are made with uh, three, two chains and one double crochet. And the black squares are called solid blocks. They are made with three double crochets. So each block is made with three stitches and I like to mark my rows with the little arrows to keep track of the rows and also the direction I have to go because we have 28 blocks and each block is three stitches uh, we need to make 3 times 28 which is 84 plus 5 for the beginning open block so we start with 89 chains for the foundation. And make the slip knot. And chain 89. And the first row is uh, only open blocks. And I will first need to double crochet in eighth chain from hook. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I make 
pouco cheio. This is the beginning open block. And for each next open block, we chain two. Then skip two chains. One, two. Double crochet in the next. Chain two. Skip two chains. One, two. Double crochet in the next. Chain two, skip two, and double crochet. And repeat until the end of your chain. And I have my twenty eight blocks on the first row the second row I put the arrow on the left it starts from here it's also all open blocks and from now on to start each new row we first chain five three four five then turn And for the open block, just double crochet in the next double crochet. And then continue the same as on previous row, except we chain two, but double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two and double crochet. Let's uh, finish this row together. And for the last block on second row, chain two. And now count third chain from the stitch. So one, two, and insert in here to make the last double crochet. Third row from the right, also all open blocks. And again, start with five chains three, four, five, then turn and double crochet in the next stitch. And all open blocks again. And again the last block chain two and count the third chain here to make the last double crochet on a fourth row we add some solid blocks so we start from the left we'll first make eight open blocks and then we'll do two solid blocks and the rest are open blocks, 18. I did eight open blocks and now two solid blocks. So when we do solid blocks above open blocks on previous row, we have to double crochet two in the chain space and one in the next stitch. So this is three double crochets for each solid block and the second one again two double crochets in chain space and one in the next stitch and then continue 
rest of the blocks open on this row. On row five, we add more solid blocks. So we start from the right and we'll do seven open blocks, then three solid blocks, again, seven open blocks, then two solid blocks and nine open blocks. I did seven open blocks. Next is three solid blocks. And whenever I have more solid blocks to do, I count my double crochets just times three of the amount of blocks I need to do. So three times three blocks, I, I need to make nine double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when you do solid blocks above open blocks like here, it's easier to keep track. But when we start making solid blocks above solid blocks, that's when this kind of counting is going to be much more helpful, not to skip any stitches. Next is seven open blocks. And now two solid blocks. The first one goes here in the open block. So two double crochets in chain space, one in the next stitch, and the second solid block, we have to double crochet, make three, so one in each next three stitch. One, two, three. And this is two solid blocks. Now next open block, above solid block, we have to skip two double crochets and double crochet in that next. And then the usual open blocks. And row six from the left, first is 10 open blocks, then two solid, five open, five solid, and end with six open. I did 10 open, now two solid, first one above solid block, double crochet in each next three stitch. And next one goes here in the next open block, double crochet two in chain space, one in the next stitch. Now five open blocks. And now five solid blocks. So five times three, I'm going to count 15 double crochets. First one here above open block, then three above solid blocks, and then one above this open block. Two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I didn't mention but um, above solid blocks you just double crochet in each of these stitches but I still want to count that I have the all the double crochets made and now six open blocks row seven from the right first five open block then two solid three open two solid three open two solid two open four solid and five open I did five open next is two solid so count six double crochets one two three four five six Three open blocks so here we have to again skip two double crochets and double crochet in the next chain two skip two double crochet chain two skip two double crochet and two solid blocks Again, count six. First three go in these next stitches. Two, three. Next two go in the chain space. Four, five. And six will go in the next stitch. Now it's three open blocks. Two solid, one, two, three, four, five, six, next two open, skip two. And now let's see four solid. So these will be above these next four open blocks. If you want to count four times three, twelve double crochets. with open box row 8 from the left starts with four open blocks then six solid two open one solid three open two solid 
3 open, 2 solid, and end with 5 open. I did 4 open, and now 6 solid blocks. I'm going to count 18 double crochets. 2, 3, 4, and 17, and 18. Now two open, and just one solid, so three double crochets. Now three open, two solid, so just double crochet in each next six stitches. Three open two solid, same double crochet in each next six stitches. finish with five open row nine from the right five open two solid four open two solid one open two solid one open two solid four open two solid three open And row 10 from the right. So now continue all these rows. Um, 
this is the second uh, leaf and I'm going to make uh, three leaves for this one and as you see I have two rows of open blocks between the leaves so when I'm finished with a second leaf here row 45 then I'll do two more rows open blocks 46 47 and then I will start with the first leaf on row four then finish the third leaf as well and then I want to end my table runner with three rows of open blocks so then just add three rows and I finished all my rows cut off the thread and I'm going to turn it around this is my right side so the your uh, thread tail is here on the right side and this is where we are going to join the uh, contrast color thread for the edge and we're going to make two rounds of edge and I'm going to join my second color thread here in upper right corner in this stitch skipping two blocks and single crochet in this stitch here and I'll make next uh, single crochet in a chain space then next one in the next stitch and one more in the next space so we have four here now chain three skip next stitch single crochet next space so now we'll do seven single crochets first one is made second one goes in the next stitch third one in the next space fourth in the next stitch fifth in the space sixth in the next stitch and seventh next space chain three skip this stitch and single crochet next space and this repeats make seven single crochets first is made one two three four five six seven and three chains and repeat and then we'll finish the first short side together and the corner last three chains on this side skip stitch and now we'll make six single crochets so one two three four five six and in a corner open block will make four single crochets one two three four now starting the first long side we'll make first five single crochets first one in a stitch second in the space third in a stitch fourth in space and fifth in a stitch then chain three skip the space and now make seven single crochets so one two three four five six seven 
chain three and single crochet next stitch and again seven first is made now repeat this all the way to the end of the long side we'll finish it again together last three chains on this side and now I'm gonna make three single crochets one two and three and in a corner block again four single crochets two three and four and starting the second short side we'll make six single crochets one two three four five and six and then chain three skip stitch single crochet next space and now seven first is made continue with seven single crochets and three chains till the end of side last three chains on this side now I'll make six single crochets one two three four five and six and corner lock make four one two three four and the second long side we start with five single crochets so one two three four and five then chain three here we skip the space and single crochet in the next stitch and make seven again the first one is made and then continue again with three chains seven single crochets until the end of this side last three chains on this side we'll finish with three single crochets one two three and then four in the corner three. three four and on the short side we need here six single crochets so we started with four and we'll do two more one two and now slip stitch in the first single crochet and the second round chain one and single crochet in that same stitch chain three and in that next three chain space here we're going to make double crochet clusters so yarn over insert hook in space pull up loop Yarn over, pull through first two loops and leave last two loops on hook. And again, yarn over, pull up loop, pull through first two loops. Now have three loops on hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. 
So we'll make three of these double crochet clusters in this chain space and between the clusters chain three and I'm going to make double crochet inserting hook in top of that clusters through these loops here there's like three loops here I'm turning through all of them to pull up loop and finish the double crochet and then make the second cluster in this same chain space start first double crochet start second and pull through three loops then again we do three chains and double crochet inserting hook through these loops in top of the cluster and make this third cluster in the same space And this part is finished here then chain three now count fourth single crochet one two three four and single crochet in it that's the middle of the seven and then this part repeats chain three and then inserting hook in this next three chain space make the first cluster three chains and double crochet in top of the cluster second cluster in same space three chains double crochet in top of the cluster and third cluster in same space and chain three count fourth single crochet one two three four single crochet in it and now repeat this until the end of this side and after this last cluster part here again count one two three four and single crochet in it now we'll do the corner uh, chain three and then insert hook in that second single crochet second of the four we made in the corner block and make the first cluster same way now also the three chains and double crochet and then make second cluster in that same stitch three chains and double crochet and now make the next cluster in the next stitch three chains and double crochet and one more cluster in that same stitch so in the corner we'll make four clusters and then chain three to start the first long side so here we have these five single crochets so I'm gonna count the fourth one from this side that means it's the second on this side and single crochet in it 
Now continue the same three chains and three clusters in chain space. Then three chains and single crochet in the fourth stitch. One, two, three, four. Three chains and three clusters. Repeat all the way to the next corner. The last three chains after the cluster part. So here I have just three single crochets. I'm going to single crochet in a third one. Next are the four corner stitches. So here we repeat the same as first corner chain three. And then in that second single crochet of the corner, make the first two clusters. And chain three, double crochet. Second one, then third cluster, go in the next single crochet. fourth in the same stitch then chain three one two three four from this side if you count from here one two third single crochet now continue same three chains in the next chain space, three clusters. And after last three chains here at the end, count one, two, three, fourth stitch, single crochet, three chains, and second corner stitch make two clusters and also two clusters in that next stitch here starting second long side we have five single crochets here so I'm gonna count, make three chains, count fourth one from here, this side, one, two, three, four, or second from here. Now continue, same. And last cluster part on this side. Here we have these three single crochets. I'm going to single crochet in third. Next are the four corner stitches. Chain three. And in that second corner stitch, again, do two clusters. And then the next stitch, also two. And finish the round, last three chains, here's the beginning single crochet and slip stitch in it.
cut off and fasten off. And this is uh, how it looks when finished with the edge. Next I'm going to weave in the ends and then uh, we'll have to lock it. So I will make it wet, then uh, stretch it out on my blocking mats and then attach with pins so I can get it in nice rectangular shape. I like to use some spray starch to give it a uh, firm shape and then let it dry usually overnight before I remove the pins and I will show you next uh, how I block it. And here is my finished table runner. It's uh, in much better shape after the blocking. And I hope you have fun making your own shamrock table runner. You will find the chart and written pattern link in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting!